I have dealt with anxiety and depression since I was probably about 11, um, but it didn't manifest itself as like actual depression or anxiety until I was about 16. It was kind of like a slow, gradual slope to just like breaking apart. I was a sophomore in high school, it was kind of its worst. And that culminated in essentially, I uh, tried to kill myself. Because of that, got figured out with um, that my hormones were all like way out of balance and I, I, I got on the right track. And by the time I graduated high school, by the time I was ready to go on a mission, I was great. I was absolutely phenomenal. So I go on my mission um, and things are, things are rough, but they're like mission rough, they're fine. I had been out about eight or nine months, and I had just been put um, as like a district leader, um, so I had this new responsibility. I felt very trapped. And so um, I, I try and push through, and I, I felt like things weren't like okay, but I just thought it was really situational um, until I got the news I was leaving. Um, so I got news on Saturday that I was leaving the next Wednesday. Um, so four days before Christmas, um, after serving for 13 months, I get sent home. Communication with God has always been a hard thing, and I think that's especially doubly so because of the depression and everything. Because it's when when you feel your own emotions through through essentially like a thick curtain, feeling any sort of godly influence is is doubly so. And so um, it's really hard uh, in and of its own right to say, is this from God or not? But I do remember distinctly flying home and getting the prompting of, this is right. You need to go home. You need to get better. This is what needs to happen. Honestly, the biggest problem I had was reintegrating kind of with society, um, which is what most people's problem is. But I remember distinctly um, the, Sunday, the Sunday that I, uh, after I got home, People were very, very like tactful about it for the most part. Um, some, some obviously weren't, and there is there is that problem. But they, um, a lot of people had a lot of genuine concern, and it was very fine. Um, a lot of people don't understand with depression and anxiety that it's not always manifest. And so the problem would be, I would have these Sundays where I would feel like pretty okay. But what does that mean for everyone else? And there was a lot of these anxieties that I'd feel that I'm like, if I'm at church, I have to look like I'm depressed and I have to feel and seem like I'm depressed to, to like validate it. And that was a, a consistent theme throughout all of my, my coming home was, I feel like I needed to prove to other people that I was genuinely sick. In a perfect world, I think the way that, that individuals would be treated that, that have mental illness, they either don't go or that come back earlier or any sort of situation, it's everyone comes home and no matter when you come home, this is life and everyone is different and everyone has their own set of problems that they got dealt with at the beginning of life and some people got a really crappy hand and they're trying to play it to like the best that they can. Um, we just have to remember that other people's hands are different and that just because something is hard for you doesn't mean that it's, it's hard for somebody else. And it's just because something is easy for you, um, doesn't mean it's easy for someone else. And so I think the best thing that we can do, um, is be empathetic. And I think if there's anything for people who come home early from their missions, if there's anything that I would personally say to them, it would be life moves on and we get to figure things out on our own. I don't think I would really have understood the atonement as deeply as I would have if I, if I hadn't gone through a lot of these experiences. Um, I mean, going home, you kind of really do feel like a prodigal son. Um, at least that's how I felt. There's always kind of that underlying feeling that, that you, you've done something wrong. Um, and I think one of the best experiences I've had through all of this is, is not necessarily my experience, but helping others through their own experiences. Um, and other people who 
maybe didn't or, or did go on missions, people who have um, mental illness and their own problems and realizing how deeply that I can care about them and, and how, much, how much gratitude and how, how deep I can understand. Like you're going through something that like no one else is really able to, to explain and understand, but somehow I'm able to. And it gives me a glimpse of what, what the savior feels and how he's able to say, I've done that. And it's not just a, 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 an image of an idea that I'm, I'm projecting on you, it's I've actually felt that for you. Like I have felt your attacks. I have felt that gnawing in the pit of your stomach of just everything is wrong and you can't pinpoint it, but it's there. And it's he's able to say, and experience everything that you've been through. I was able to say it's okay. <laughs>